My name is Mark Lear and I'm the principal for the time. Spell it out. B I E R R A. First name as well? Mark, M A R K. Okay. Sounded okay. good? Okay. All right. <laughs> so he said, Tom Torlickson just gave you a huge shout out, saying, not only was your school awesome, but he said you were great. Just as someone who kind of just is a fearless leader who really wants to bring your school to a positive direction. Tell me a little bit about yourself and how do you think you're able to do this? Well, first and foremost, uh, that, that was nice of, nice of him to say. I, uh, I don't necessarily see it that way. I, we couldn't do what we do without phenomenal teachers, and, and that's the truth. We have teachers who perform at a very high level, who work hard each and every day to make sure our kids are getting the best education possible. Our teachers work really well as teams. They're highly collaborative teams. Um, and they really ensure that our students have um, a, a uniformity of instruction across no matter what classroom you go to, that there's going to be a high level of instruction going on in any classroom that you see here. You were also saying a lot about hi uh, hiring our own standards. Do you guys feel like you're at another level compared to the rest of the schools in California, or do the students really understand the fact that they are held to a higher standard? Is that the new norm for them? Absolutely. In fact, if you ask any one of our teachers, they'll tell you that we, we, hold, we set the bar high for our kids. We hold them to a high expectation, and then we support the kids in making sure they can meet that bar, as, as evident by a lot of our test scores. And we don't necessarily look at our, when we look at our test scores, we don't compare them to the rest of the state or the rest of the district. We really compare ourselves to ourselves. Right, so we, we, we have a bar that we set and we always are, are trying to figure out how do we get them to the next level? How do we get you know the more students um, in, our, in our meeting standards or exceeding standards levels? And so we really compare ourselves to ourselves um, as opposed to, to any other standard. He was also talking about a magic formula that you guys have for the attendance. Of course, without attendance, you don't have any of the other stuff that follows. So how have right. you guys come up with, I guess, your magic right. formula to make attendance so high um, to be a leader in California? Well, I, you know, I have to give credit to the, the day that this school was open, the leadership that opened this school, um, that this school has been founded on the principles of high expectations, whether that be academics or attendance. Um, across the board, the expectations are high for students. Currently, we have a slogan that is, um, like Mr. Torlickson said, um, every day, all day, and on time. So we chant that at our assemblies. Um, and the kids and, and our families very clearly know what the expectation is, is that we want our kids to be here every day, all day, and on time. Then on top of that, what we do is we celebrate them constantly for when they meet those goals. So we have um, a daily recognition. Uh, the teachers each have a, an attendance flag that they put outside their classroom. So if their class has perfect attendance for that day, then they get a flag, they put their flag out, and so they celebrate their attendance there. And then we have a weekly uh, student of the week assembly where we celebrate attendance on a weekly basis. And then we celebrate it trimesterly. So we celebrate it constantly. So we're constantly talking about it. It's constantly in the forefront of what kids are thinking about. And then we celebrate them when they hit those goals. So um, we have a perfect attendance and an outstanding attendance award that we give on a trimester level. So it is constantly in the forefront of what we're talking about. Oh, wow, that's actually you know positive reinforcement. And the kids really understand at a very young age that that's really important. Do you think that connects to all these other positive things that come with school? Um, absolutely, and you know, there's 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 no understating the fact that um, our parents understand that message very clearly in our in our in our school community, because they send their kids to school for us each and every day, ready to learn. So, with like Mr. Torlakson said, a 98% attendance rate, our parents are doing their job of getting their kids to school each and every day and prepared to learn. So what do you see in the future of this school? Obviously, you guys are at the tippity top, 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 but you could always aim higher. We're, that's our goal. Like I was mentioning earlier, we're going to continue to grow. We're going to continue to compare ourselves to ourselves, and and we start to look at individual students instead of big percentages, like um, like we see in um, our results. We look at individual students, and how do we get more students to be meeting those state standards? All right, sounds good. Anything to add? No, but thank you. Right, Appreciate no you guys problem. being here. Thank you. Thank you.